All right, folks, I know it's a little early in the morning, but you're not going to watch this right away. I have to process it and then send it up and wait and wait and wait. Um, today we're going to take the uh, SIM card out of the Mi A2 for one day, stick it in the Alcatel 7, which is a 2 gig of RAM uh, MediaTek P23 processor, obviously. Uh, nowhere near on par with the uh, Mi A2 and its Android 1, Snapdragon 660. We're shooting this all on the uh, um, new Mobile G3. We're going to process it on here. Let's get to the intro, and then we'll talk some more about swapping them sims out. So today we're going to go with the pros and cons, both of these. We are going to be taking the SIM card here and moving it over into this guy over here, this is the Alcatel. Now, seven. They both have roughly the same size screens. One is a 5.99, the other is a 6.0. One is obviously much fatter. So that has a different ratio. Uh, their displays are both 2160 by 1080. And uh, there are advantages and disadvantages to both. <coughs> <coughs> the biggest advantage, of course, goes to the, is the Mi A2. And this is the Alcatel 7. The, ooh, the Mi A2 has a far superior set of cameras, uh, especially on the back side, you know, selfie shooter. Uh, 8 megapixels here, 20 megapixels there, which is why I get pretty good selfies when I'm talking to the camera. So, all that being said, no big deal. The Mi A2 is a good one millimeter thinner. It does have a very large camera bump. Now, the advantage to the Alcatel. Oh, and one more thing the Mi A2 has. This has 64 gig of unexpandable storage, I'll admit that. But, this one, as you can see, I've got a 128 gig SD card in it. You're kind of stuck. I mean, there's a dual sims on the other one, but unless you're a traveler, it's not a big deal. So, you got to ask yourself, eh, you know, which one's worth it? But if you're giving this away, you know, if somebody is a, you know, mom, pop person, or small kid, uh, They'll both do for watching videos. Uh, you're going to get a brighter display on here. You do not as many pixels per inch, but a brighter display. And uh, the other thing is you're going to, uh, of course, have the uh, rather large advantage uh, on the... Uh, uh, me too, of course, of having Android 1 and getting updates very regularly. Uh, this one is in November. Uh, the the uh, Me too over here is all the way up to December. Uh, it's and it's eventually going to get Android 10, so they say. This one was from Metro PCS. I got it for free. Uh, Not that I get T-Mobile service around here. Serrano C. Butler sent it to me. Make sure to check out his channel. Uh, you know, to kind of do a follow-up review on and I've kept it ever since. It's a decent phone. I figured I'd give it one day and use it just like your average mom and pop would and we'll see what the battery life is. This one has a plastic back. This one has a metal back. Uh, 
other than that so in the similarities so we're gonna go ahead and swap the sim cards in and then we'll fire this puppy up let's do that now so we've gone ahead and we've swapped out the uh, the sim card I stuck the me A2 back into this little red case I bought. This is a three-piece case. The top and the bottom snap in, and then the sides, you know, go on there. It's a hard plastic case. Pretty good protection. Uh, it never would work with the, uh, uh, um, wireless charging. Now, over here on the Alcatel side, We've got our nicely protected big bumpers. This thing looks about four times as thick because it's a two-piece case. Lots of depth of field or depth on the cameras, which on this fit almost flush anyway. Um, so let's go ahead and stick it on the charger and see what happens. Uh, you know, it's a must-do, obviously. Uh, and there's no point in having wireless charging that doesn't wirelessly charge it. So we'll see what happens there. And as you can see, uh, we're getting some charging going on there. Or, yeah, well, we're at 100% because I charged it the other day. So let's go ahead and fire it up. Now, by the way, these buttons on this thing are totally flush. They're smooth. So you kind of got to just know where they're at. You're not going to get any tactile feedback. But we're going to click it, fire it up, and there we go. And uh, it's going to do its thing and in a second or two. It'll be just fine. This is a Metro phone. As I said, I got it from C. Butler uh, to do more testing on after he was done with it. And uh, it's unlocked, though. And, uh, now oh, this being Windows 8, you gotta press in some codes. And uh, this is a code for the ones I'm not using. And it's a good phone, folks. It's a really good phone. And you're about to find that out. Even though it's only, only uh, two gigabytes which parents won't have a bit of problem with it, or your grandparents, or your kid. It's a nice bright display, that's up about halfway. And let's check here. Oh yeah, we got 4G. Yep, 4G LTE sitting here. We're good to go. And it's doing this little boop. When it's on, it's charging. And so, we're at 100% already, of course. And uh, this is the uh, uh, launcher we have on it. Uh, this is uh, called Smoking Glass. Uh, and, uh, yeah, and you get some kind of warning of the sim. But that's okay. It doesn't support certain things. Uh, and we're going to go in here. And we're going to apply smoking glass again. And say okay. And you're going to see it. Boom. That's, so now that looks identical to the new G3. Uh, the icons look a little better. That's a... Uh, it's really a cool uh, thing. And uh, of course, I got my power director, my open camera, my Android. You can do everything on this you can do on the new G3, except it's only got two gig of RAM. That's the downside, and only an eight gig or eight megabit pixel front shooter. Other than that, we're going to give it a whole day, play around with it, you know, use it like your parents or grandparents would, which is not much, not much at all, they're not like you, they don't feel the obligation 
to constantly do crazy shit like you're doing. Ooh, I made it even brighter just now. That's okay. We might have needed that. Um, so, uh, on that note, uh, let's turn the brightness on the front screen here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, way down. Way down. Uh, there we go. A little better. A little better. So that's what we have. Uh, I'll try it for a day. And in the description below, at the end of the day, I'll tell you where we were on battery life. Right now it's at 100%. That's all we have. So uh, let's uh, see how this goes. It's now 6 a.m. And we're going to process this right on the Mi A2 or, or the new mobile G3 here. And uh, send it up to the net in the next few minutes. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.